Hello everyone, how are you doing today? We're at the beginning of a new lunar cycle. So, time to see what guidance we need for this uh, particular lunar cycle coming up. So, with new moon, just like full moon, you've got a couple of days to play with um, in your timings. However, for me, I also observe dark moon, and I don't know if everybody does. Some people just kind of conflate new moon and dark moon, but for me, there is a distinct difference. Um, you know, dark moon is when there is zero illumination of the moon, uh, not even a sliver. So that's when I'm going to do things you know, like banishing work. Um, if I'm feeling I need to do a little bit of something, something, I might do it then. Um, but for me, that one, because you are looking for that complete lack of illumination, um, I, I only work, have the one day I can do that if I want to include that in my working. Now again, you don't have to include, you know, cycles of the moon in your magical timings. You can work in other ways. I just like to do it. I don't always though. You know, I like that little extra bit that it gives me. Now with new moon that we're working with now, it, um, I have that three day window that I like to work with. I kind of had like the day before, the day of, the day after, because, you know, you're starting to see just that slightest bit of, um, the moon coming back into illumination. Um, and just, you know, like I said, that barely bit of increase over that, that next day or so. Um, so that for me is my new moon energy um, when I want to look at what I want to focus on either something new that I'm growing uh, or working on you know that kind of thing so and I just tossed half the deck this I love this deck I love the imagery of this deck um, I know I definitely have used it before in the past for readings uh, here so it's messages of the mermaids um, but it's so glossy and it just, yeah, I, I'm shuffling, <laughs> I'll fling 15 cards <laughs> at one time. It's just, yeah, I wish they would offer this one in a different finish. I love the imagery. Um, I will come across, let me say real quick. We'll take a quick peek. Let me say something here. See if I can find one. I love that in this deck. They're more inclusive with the imagery, uh, both, you know, representing people of different sizes, different body shapes. Um, there's some males in here as well that I've, I know, I think, yeah, we had that. Yeah, I know I definitely had one, uh, one like a month ago. I think it may have been for, oh yeah, it was the beginning of this month. It was August. It was the beginning of August for that uh, I did the community reading and we had the male figure. So I really love the imagery in this deck. Just don't like the cardstock. Okay, so I've yammered on long enough. Let's see what the cards have to say to us. I don't think we're going to get a jumper today other than me throwing about 20 cards on the floor a minute ago. Okay, so cutting with the left hand. Let's see what we get. Friendship. Okay, so we need to focus on our friendships for this coming lunar cycle. Our, is there someone that needs something and you're not paying attention that they need something? Is there um, someone you haven't talked to in a while, but you've been meaning to? Now's the time to do it. Um, let's see what they have here in the book. And, you know, do little things that show that you um, appreciate their friendship. 
So let's see here if I can do it. Friendship. Phone a friend. Find someone on your own wavelength to spend time with. Being with like-minded friends is the tonic you need right now. Friendship is calling to you. These mermaids are urging you to pick up your phone right now and call a friend. You might just need some company to share a cup of tea or coffee or a meal with, or better still, a walk along the beach in sight of mermaids. The message here is that quality company and true friendship will be good for you at this time. Do you have a friend whom you've been meaning to contact? An old school friend, perhaps? If yes, this card is a gentle nudge for you to reach out. Friendship can keep us going when times are tough as well as the times when they're wonderful. Sharing the good times and bad we're ha- and when we're happy or sad. Friendships can lift us up out of dark places and are like precious jewels in the crown of life. Remember to check on that strong friend. Sometimes it's hardest for them to reveal their vulnerability because they are a lo- there are a lot of expectations placed upon them. So reach out now to see how they are. Are you being called to offer the hand of friendship to someone? Don't, be, don't wait to be asked. It might be up to you to make the first move. Remember that strangers can be friends you haven't met yet. When you're in alignment with your destiny, notice the people who come onto your path. It's your vibration that attracts the type of friends you need at various stages of your life. So be receptive to meeting new people because beautiful friendships can be born from chance. So take this next lunar cycle. Again, if you're feeling yourself that you need that contact, that friendship, reach out to your friend circle. If you're feeling good, still reach out. You never know. One of your friends might be needing you and they just haven't vocalized it yet. So this next lunar cycle focus on your friendships. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.